Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Beko washing machine, an eight kilo, relatively modern WMB 81241LB. It's got no door. I found it on the street yesterday. It looks okay, so I don't really know what's wrong with it, but uh, I've plugged it in. Let's just see what happens. I'm getting a little backlight on there. Oh, we're getting something going on. Now, no, doesn't look hopeful. So I would expect to see something coming up. Oh. I'm listening for an interlock. I've put it on Cotton's Eco, but that's not quite right either. Let's try spin and drain. Oh, we're getting, okay, so we're getting something there. Let's get a thing for the door lock. So I've got a screwdriver here. I'm just hoping to see if it'll spin. I don't know, really. I've put a screwdriver in there. I don't know where we're going with this. Oh, I've got it to lock. Is it gonna spin? Yeah. Okay then. There shouldn't really be any water in it. What I'm testing this for is that if this works, which it seems to be working, then it's a simple matter of hot wiring it and uh, putting something into it. You know, for for funsies. It's freezing cold today, so I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to do it today. Just as a test. So what did I do there with that? I put that in like this and turned it sideways. Uh, I heard the pump rattling there. It might have, there might be ice in the pump because it's so cold. It's spinning quite happily. There's the pump and the ice. So throwing in the screwdriver makes no odds at all to it. That's the door thing, the, the filter door. That's the plate that fell off the inside. It's just sticking straight to it. There's one of the feet. Wow, like glue. <laughs> okay, well, it's gonna do what it's gonna do for 11 minutes, I guess. It's got a bit of a vibration set up in it. I don't know why this was thrown out at all. It could be broken. The heater might be gone in it. Fill valve could be gone in it. It's rattling a bit now. The reason the door was taken off, I think, was just to get it through a doorway and out onto the street. Or they might have broken the door. That could be the fault. As it stands, I'm not going to fix it. Anything heavy I could throw into it just now and <laughs> that would be the end of it. I, what I want from it is some of the rubber hoses. That's why I picked it up because I'm fixing a Mila inside. I got a professional Mila and I need a bit of flexible rubber hose because the one that's on it's a bit broken, a bit crusty. It's kind of dancing and rattling there a bit. It's, uh, it's the middle of December in the north of England and last week I saw three washing machines on the street. I saw one on a, just outside a house, this one was out on the street and the other one was in a back garden that I just noticed because it was beside a house and I don't really want any of them, it's too cold to be bothering but I, for whatever reason I had the 10 minutes to spare and I was driving by and I picked this up. It's going pretty fast now. It could save me the bother of hot wearing it if I just fired it up like this and chuck a brick in it. It's going pretty hard there. Hmm. I don't want to do it where I am. I'm too near to the car. I'm too near to the shed. I need to do it out in the grass. It's going okay though, this machine. Only it had a door. It's not even that dirty. The soap drawer looks pretty clean. The face is broken, the hinges are broken off this door down here, but that's no issue really. You know, as a working machine it would work just fine. 
right, I consider this to be a success. Like and subscribe if nonsense like this is to your taste. I'll uh, appreciate any comments that you can give me below about what I should do to this, although I'm feeling I'm just going to do the same thing as I've done now and chuck a brick in it. Right, let's stop it. Let's kill the power and it should make some rattling noises. Thanks for watching, see you next time.